In today's video, we'll be talking about the little Nikon, the Nikon Z50. Nikon has announced an APS-C or what they call DX size sensor. I'm pleasantly surprised and impressed Nikon has done an exceptional job of not taking a lot out. They give you a lot of camera for a very reasonable price point and in a few areas I think this actually exceeds what we are seeing with the Z6 and Z7. The autofocus is incredible on this and the low light performance is outstanding. The intention from Nikon was to design a camera that is a DX format or APS-C size sensor which is smaller but it brings over some of the same functionality and design aesthetics from the full frame cameras such as the Z6 and the Z7. If you ask me, they did a real nice job on this one. The first thing you're gonna notice is that it uses the same Z mount. It is massive and it takes up most of the camera. However, this is cool because it gives you access to all of the Z series lenses as well as the FTZ adapter which gives you access to any DX or FX full frame F mount lenses. The sensor in this camera is 20.9 megapixel DX format backside illuminated CMOS sensor. It features the Xpeed 6 image processor and it also handles UHD 4K as well as full HD video recording. The electronic viewfinder is a 0.39 inch 2.36 million dot OLED with 100% coverage and a magnification of 1.02x. There is also a 3.2 inch 1 million dot rear monitor that tilts 180 degrees under the camera for the selfie monitoring. There is a vlogger kit made by small ray specially for Z50. When this vlogger plate is attached to Z50, the tripod mount shifts to one side of the camera. This helps in having an unobstructed view of the flipped screen when recording a vlog. For the first time on any Nikon mirrorless, we also have a fill flash under the hot shoe. That's a nice addition I would say. One thing I really love and appreciate about Nikon is their approach to consistency across all camera models. Which means if you are familiar with one camera, chances are you could pick up a different model of Nikon and be pretty much familiar with the menu system and where everything is. Now let's talk about the form factor and ergonomics. The Z50 follows the same approach as that of the Z6. The Z50 is a smaller body so there are a couple of changes. First of all, we don't have the top viewfinder screen and the mode selection switch has been moved over to the right hand side of the camera. The way the Z50 is set up is much similar to that of the Z6 and the Z7. You have a switch which will toggle you between stills mode and the video mode. It gives you a lot of flexibility. On the back of the camera, we have a much more simplified user interface. There is no joystick and some of the buttons have actually been moved over onto the screen as touch buttons and they work like a charm. The ports on the side of the camera have been reduced as well because of the real estate problem. So for instance, we lost the remote and headphone jack but we did retain the mic jack and it is worth pointing out that the USB jack is not a USB-C, it's a USB-A port. I kind of wish that it was USB-C but USB-A will also do for the time being. The compartment on the bottom of the camera shares both the battery and the SD card slot. The battery is a new battery which has been specially designed for this camera and it is EN EL25 which is much smaller than the one which is used in the Z6 and the Z7. It's also worth noting that the card slot is UHS-1 compatible which is of course slower than UHS-2 however I don't think it's a big issue on this camera because the top continuous frame speed shooting is 11 frames per second using the full megapixel readout. I can say about this camera one thing that the autofocus speed is amazing and the Xpeed 6 processor that's being used in here handles high ISO settings extremely well. 
So this was all about the Nikon Z50 review. I must admit I am super impressed by how Nikon was able to pack up so many things in such a small form factor. So if you think you like this video and if you want to ask me anything do not forget to ask me in the comment section and I will definitely answer all of your queries. Until next time stay safe and click with me.